Let's talk more about those games, shall we? As athletes gear up to take part, one of them is para-athlete Zach Shaw competing in the T12 100 metres, and he joins us now. Uh, good evening to you, Zach. Good to have you with us uh, tonight. First of all, how excited are you about the games that are kicking off tonight? Yeah, so excited. I mean, uh, it's not that often we get home games. I think the last major one was London 2012, and obviously that was, like, incredible for so many people, spectating and competing. So, like, now it's it's so good that we have the games back in England. Oh, so good in 2012. The vibes uh, was just incredible. Do you think we could repeat that this time round of the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, definitely. I mean, in, in 2012, I was, uh, like we spoke about, inspiring a generation. I think at the time I was, I was 16. Uh, and I can say firsthand that inspired me. So hopefully this game can do the same for the younger generation coming up. Yeah, so it inspired you to take part as a para-athlete. And this year, uh, this Commonwealth Games, uh, the most inclusive it's, it's ever been. What difference do you think that will make to people? Yeah, so good. I mean, it's such a special, special occasion because the Paralympics and Olympics are obviously separate competitions and the Commonwealth Games is the only one that combines them. And it's so good because it gives a platform for para-athletes to really, I guess, show what we can do and, and give us a platform to... to have an audience we wouldn't normally get. And it's, it's just nice to share the team. Uh, so who are the ones to look out for uh, this time round at the Games, would you say? Yeah, I mean, Team England are strong, honestly. Everyone on the para and uh, able side, very strong. I mean, I think for, um, for Matt Hudson-Smith, I think it's a home Games for him. Uh, home home Games, I think it's from Birmingham and he's just won a bronze at, at the World. So I'm, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be a good one to watch out for. What about you? I know you've got your eyes on the podium. Yeah, do you think you could do it? As to me, it's just another race. Like, there's ultimately, I'm I'm going to be on the start line and, and representing the country. So for me, that's a proud moment in itself. And anything that comes on top of that will just be a bonus. Do you think being at home in England? Do you think that could maybe spur you on? Yeah, I mean, like, like, there's so many advantages, so many advantages for it to be home games. But a, a big one is just like you have all your family and friends there, and a lot of the time you're around the world competing, and you don't have the chance for them, the closest people to you, to see it. Um, so I'm so, so excited to, to yeah, to share the experience with my family. OK, so we're watching uh, you training and these are incredible. So, you know, when when I wrote your intro, I didn't want to include uh, what exactly your your ability or disability might be. But can you explain to people, you know, what it is for yourself and just explain how it is you go about training the way you do? Yeah, when I was uh, 10 or 11 years old, I was diagnosed with a rare eye condition called Stargardt's disease. So my central vision's... Um, Affected like right now, I'm looking at the camera, I can't really see it. So mm -hmm. I hope I'm looking straight at it. But um, yeah, like I think in one of the videos you, you shown, I was running over some small hurdles, and it's just little stuff like that in training where this that's a good video over. There's so many times I'll do it and I'll fail at the first hurdle, but it's just about um, Paralympic athletes are special because there's so many people that struggle with things on a day to day basis, but when you're on the start line, everyone's equal. And that's a that's a really special thing that you will only find in Paralympic sport. Well, I would not have known any of this, Zach. I'm so happy I asked. And it's very busy if you're also preparing for the Olympics as well. Yeah, obviously Commonwealth Games now and hopefully I can get uh, selected for Paris 2024. I, I just missed out on Tokyo last year. Um, so I'm hoping, yeah, hoping that I'll be able to call myself a Paralympian in, in a couple of years' time. Oh. OK, well, Zach Shaw, good luck. When you get that medal, don't forget us. Come back and talk to Five News, OK? <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me on. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to come good back. Luck. Good luck. <laughs>